Good morning everyone. Today in English we are going to read grammar and usage given in chapter 4 that is the trumpet of the swans. In that we will know about the main verbs and auxiliary verbs given on page number 42. So children we have already learned about the main verbs and auxiliary verbs. So what are main verbs? Main verbs are the words which show action in the sentence or the a main verb is the action word in the sentence. For a sentence to be complete, a main verb is necessary. For a complete sentence, you know that a verb is necessary. Any sentence cannot be complete without the main verb. So, here there is a boy on that log. Here is is acting as the main verb. Okay. He was very quiet. Here was is used as the main verb. See. Now, helping verbs or auxiliary verbs come before the main verb and add more meaning to it. Now, what we see that the helping verbs, they are also known as the auxiliary verb. And where they are placed in the sentence? They are placed before the main verb and add more meaning to it. And when this uh, auxiliary words or uh, auxiliary verb or helping verbs are added to the sentence, they add more meaning. We also know that forms of the verb be. So, being verbs or state of being, which words represent state of being? That is, am, is, are, was, were. They are also known as the being verbs. They can be used both as main verb and, ex and auxiliary verb. He is observing us. In this, is is used as an auxiliary verb. That is, the helping verb. Now see children, the first sentence what we have seen. There is a boy on that log. There also we have used is. And in that case, is is used as a main verb. But in the second, he is observing us. Here, is is used as the helping verb. Which is helping the main verb ob uh, observing. Here the main verb is observing. Okay, and is is used as the auxiliary verb. A stick was hurtling through the air. Here was is used as the auxiliary verb but in the previous sentence he was very quiet. In that was is used as the main verb and the stick was hurtling through the air. Here it is used as the helping verb which helps the main verb hurtling. Okay. Now action words we, have, we are knowing that they are called verbs. Eat, drink, read. What are they? They are the main verbs. Okay. Or the action words read, write, run. You know that action is being done or doing words. Cook, dance, laugh. Action words. Now helping verbs. They are not the main verbs. Okay. And action words main verbs. Now see. Helping verb is. Which is helping the main verb. Raining. Is raining. Suppose it is raining. Now was playing. The boy was playing. In that helping verb is was. And the main verb is playing. Now let us see more example. Martha, Martha is studying in her room. So what is the helping verb? Here is is used as the helping verb which is helping the main verb studying. Then grandfather was praying in his room. So what is the main verb? Here the main verb is praying and it is being helped by was which is used as the helping verb here. Helping verbs are used before verbs that end in ed or ing so ing form you have seen now ed form like he has climbed the mountain or she has climbed the mountain in that has is used as the helping verb and ed form of climb so climbed that is the main verb i am enjoying a beautiful scene at the seashore so what is the main verb here the main verb is enjoying and am is used to help that so am is used as the helping verb Many seagulls are flying over the sea. So, R is used as the helping verb, helping the main verb flying. A little while ago, a few children were playing on the beach. So, what is the helping verb? Were. And the main verb? Playing. Some time back, the chick of a seagull was flapping its wing. So, what is the main verb? Flapping. What is the helping verb? Was. So, was is helping the main verb? Flapping. Now, then... A hatchling is coming out of its egg. So, what is the main verb? Coming and helping verb is. A photographer will be coming soon. 
so photographer will be coming soon so here the main verb is coming and will be is the helping verb now see you have uh, to do exercise a so how you will do it map the sentence parts to complete these sentences then identify whether the verb be is used as a main verb or the auxiliary verb so here children first of all you will have to understand what is the uh, verb be used as first of all what is the verb be in the sentence a state of being in that sentence you will have to understand then you will see that after joining the um, sentence how after joining these a and b column a and b you will form sentences and whether in that that verb b is used as a main verb or auxiliary verb okay like see mr girish is okay a teacher in our school mr girish is a teacher in our school so what is verb b here used as first of all verb b is okay in this sentence verb b or the state of being is is now it is used as a main verb is is used as a main verb because see mr girish is a teacher in our school so there is is used as the main verb now sheila and suraj were working on the science project so sheila and suraj were working on the science project first of all verb b what is here the verb b is were okay w e r e were and it is used as the auxiliary verb why because it is helping the main verb working the match was a draw now the match was a draw in this was is the verb form of verb be and it is used as the main verb because it is not helping any other verb she is planning to come to the dance show tomorrow so in this is is used as the auxiliary verb which is helping the uh, main verb planning so is is used as the auxiliary verb the elephant is searching for its lost calf so here is is used as the auxiliary verb which is helping the main verb searching the children are busy with homework so here there is no main means uh, there is no verb which these are will help so here r is used as the main verb itself so let us revise a verb is an important part of a sentence as you have seen a word is uh, a verb is a word used to express a certain action done by somebody or something it is also called a doing word Oof. then let us see more a verb is an important part of a sentence then he goes to the circus lara eats fruits every day so here lara he uh, he goes to the circus here goes is the main verb lara eats fruits every day its main verb a verb is also used to tell us the state or a condition of somebody or something i am very happy today we are late for the circus so here it is am and are they tell us the state or condition of somebody or something so see here rohan is a boy he is playing cricket here is is used as a now uh, first in the roshan is a boy in that is is used as a main verb and here he is playing cricket used as a auxiliary verb or the helping verb apurva is a girl is is used as the main verb and she is painting here is is used as a helping verb helping the main verb painting this boy is a swimmer so here is is used as the main verb the car is blue is is used as a main verb so thank you everyone have a good day bye